He's a regular at All Star Weekend now. Well, you know, it's weird. I remember we in New York a few years ago. We was, you know, talking about man. You know, finally make all that. You know, now you on. This is an old hat now. Like, you're All Star vet. Gotta continue it though. That's the that's the thing. You gotta. You it's the beauty be, of it. You yeah. want to continue. You want to be perennial. Yeah. You want to be a one time All Star. Right. Right. Do you? Do you feel the difference now in the way, in terms of the respect you get around the league and just the way people deal with you, you know, game planning for you? Different from earlier in your career, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, for sure. I mean, but earlier in my career, they didn't have to guard me. <laughs> people <laughs> guard me in the paint. But um, I think now, you know, I just, you know, my game's grown. You know, my my my, my intelligence of the game has grown. Um, my, my management of the game has grown. So at the end of the day, you, know, you kind of got to, you know, it's me and DeMar, you know, yeah. so you got to prepare for both of us. So I think it's just it's just pretty cool to know that where, where I've come from to where I've gotten, it's, a, it's an accomplishment. Where's, where's left for you to go? Uh, NBA champion. That's mm-hmm. where it's left to go. Yeah. Um, you know, as a, as a player, um, you know, as a team, as an individual, I think there's still some more to go. Um, I think I can be a better shooter. I think I can be a better finisher. I think I can be a better facilitator. Um, I think I can, t- can, t- can continue to grow as a player. I don't think I ever will just be like, all right, I'm done. Yeah. I mean, I, I, that's what I hope. I hope once I, you know, when I'm retired, I can't get no better. Uh, we're getting questions on Facebook now from people who are watching live. And uh, Jimmy Bly wants to know, can the Villanova Wildcats repeat as champs this season? I mean, they got the – it's funny, I just I got that question. I think they can. Though. They got the talent. They got the ability. They, large, they lost a big piece in Arch and, and Daniel, but I think they got some good veteran leadership. I think, you know, when you got the team, they got some seniors, some juniors, you know, it kind of blends in very well with some younger sophomore freshmen. It works well. Let me, let me ask you one last thing. I know you got to run – they got you going all in these different directions, but this this team right now, everybody is looking at the East race and trying to figure right. out who fits. Like, right. where does everybody fit? Where do you think you guys fit it in the final analysis in terms of the pecking order in the Eastern Conference? Well, right now, we're, you know, we're kind of dropping and we've had a, a big slump. But, you know, now we're having surge, making a trade for surge. Um, that will be an interesting piece once we get it on the floor. Right. Um, until then, I don't, I don't think it's a pecking order until – you know, yeah. you got to beat Cleveland. Cleveland's number one. That's the pecking order. One, and then everybody else follows. No doubt. Before you leave, I love watching you mess with DeMar DeRozan <laughs> and all these videos <laughs> every day. Yeah. Is that one of your favorite things to do every it day? It might be. And, you know, I hope I hope people don't know. It's not a game. It's literally yeah. how we are every day when there is no cameras. Someone just around. asked me, did, did you and DeMar have the best bromance in the NBA? <laughs> I, don't even call, uh, I guess it's, I, I don't know. I mean, ask him. You're two bros. <laughs> but, yeah. He's but you guys love messing with each other. Freaking frat. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever's the better one, it's me. Give us a go. <laughs> Kyle Lowry, all-star. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good to, Thanks, good to see you as always. Appreciate it, fellas. Thank you. Thank you.